we are told in the epistle to the Hebrews that those things we perceive or understand or read about in terms of their physical description are copies, copies, Greek word typos, types, shadows, pictures of what exists in the heavenlies. When you read Revelation 21 about the New Jerusalem, there is a New Jerusalem. But it's portrayed to us by way of analogy compared to a bride adorned for her husband. Well, is it a city or is it a bride? Or are both descriptions of something beyond human comprehension? What no eye hath seen nor ear hath heard hath God prepared for those who loved him. In this life or this world, we cannot see or appreciate what God has prepared for those who love them. Now, this is a complicated issue. It's going to be so wonderful and wondrous. It's going to take Jesus himself a thousand years, a thousand years to prepare us for it in a perfect world called the millennial reign of Christ. That will be sort of, a, among other things, a training period where Christ will prepare us to enter that heavenly Jerusalem. No eye hath seen it or ear hath heard it per se. What John saw in Revelation, he had to be taken into eternity in order to see it. It is a description, but it's figurative. It's typological. Yes, it's a city but not a city like Chicago or, or, or London or Paris. Yet a magical city, a ferric city, would be an analogy to accommodate us in time and space to explain something of the nature of it. It's in the type and nature of the city, above and beyond anything you're going to see in Disneyland or Disney World, but it's that kind of analogy. So to the analogy of the bride. Okay. Likewise, the bride. We think of a bride under the hoop at a Jewish wedding or a wedding march or here comes the bride or people throwing rice coming out of a church and going away on a honeymoon. Well, there's an analogy to that, but that's not what it is. It's a corporate bride, the bride of Christ. It's his bride. It's an analogy. It says, like a bride. I saw a city. Well, it's a city. But again, it's beyond our concept of city. It accommodates itself to express these truths to us who are trapped in time and space for the time being. But I assure you, there is, let's not say literal, let's say actual. There is going to be an actual new Jerusalem where we will spend eternity with the Lord. My name is James Jacob Prash with Morial Ministries. Thank you so much for your question. God bless. Thank you, Jacob. Blessings to your friends. Greetings of Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't for the sake of brevity. Uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon, and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. First being The Dilemma of Laodicea, the Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. 
the dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be shadows of the beast, shadows of the beast, how the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo, Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, Glum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Memorial Catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless, and Jesus be with you.